How do you increase the size of your talent pool when you're doing interviewing? I'm Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter. I'm a former recruiter. I now do coaching. I help firms hire more effectively. I help people with managing and leading more effectively, workplace-related issues, and I help job hunters perform better on interviews and throughout their search. Now, there's one thing the pandemic should have proven to you by now, is that life goes on, as long as you're alive, of course. But the notion that teams have to be physically in the same place is being dispelled with regularity. So if you're in a small city and you want access to a larger labor pool, there are a lot of people in New York, Florida, the Bay Area, Texas, who are very happy to work remote. And it doesn't matter to them where you are. So start reaching out. Start positioning yourself as a firm that hires exceptional talent and does it online. <clears throat> Excuse me. From the standpoint of how you evaluate people, obviously you can use Zoom, you can use whatever video service your firm uses for meetings now, just interview people over that platform. But the most important thing is be clear about how you're evaluating people so that you're getting the right person on board, the right skills on board, and not just simply winging it. Plan your questions in advance so that you know what it is that you're hiring for and can evaluate and assess. Now, the one thing I'm going to remind you of is that onboarding people who are working remotely, you have to integrate them into your teams more effectively than you may have on an ad hoc basis previously. After all, when the pandemic started, well, frankly, you had your existing employees, they had a relationship with one another, and this will be different. This is going to be a person who's going to be in another city, and how do you bring them into the pool? That's something for you to work out with your people so that they're inclusive and they're not exclusive, as often happens when consultants work remotely. Again, this is going to be an employee of your firm. You want them to feel comfortable in the relationship. That they are in another city doesn't matter to them. And I have to point out, I use the example of small city, small city firm, big city employee. The reverse is even more accurate. For example, most of my coaching clients are in the New York area. I don't, co I don't live in New York, but that's who I coach. And thus, I'm able to do better financially because I'm out of the area in a lower cost uh, part of the world. For you, as, some, as a firm in a high cost area, don't cheap out and try and get someone for Indiana wages for your New York City job because they're working remote. Pay them right or salary because someone else will. And then you'll have brought someone on board, done a lot of uh, intellectual capital uh, release to them, and then have to replace them. And that's expensive. So I hope you found this helpful. I'm Jeff Altman. My website is nobscoachingadvice.com. If you're interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching or want to schedule uh, time for a free discovery call, you can do that there. And I'll also say I've got a lot of great content on YouTube Go there. You can find that at jobsearchtv.com. Hope you have a terrific day, and I'd love to help you. Take care.